Okay, welcome to my laboratory. Yeah, baby. This time we got the standard setup going with the H bridge switching at just a little over 2 megahertz. Uh, that means the bridge itself is going about 500 kilohertz. I'm pushing it through the standard setup as before, charging the capacitor to 32 volts. Except what I've done now is I've uh, I've got the remote control coil up here, the Tesla by far the primary, and its little light is lit, and it's in a resonant condition as you can see. Okay, so. Uh, it's hard to do to hold the camera too. Down here at the base of the coil I've clipped this green lead which is coming over to this little air variable here. Uh, this is just a shadow, you can ignore that. See it's just a shadow. Okay. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the red wire which is connected to the top of the coil here and it's part of the charging circuit for this capacitor. I'm going to disconnect this and I'm just going to touch it to the other terminal of this air variable just like that. And when I do you'll see that LED get a whole lot brighter. When I first did this I nearly uh, shall we say, uh, <clears throat> soiled my underwear. I thought I had hit free energy. I was holding the air variable in my hand and I actually felt it. It went sort of zap, gave me a little RF shock. And what's happening of course is I'm bringing this bottom coil into true resonance by changing the uh, time constant of the uh, LC circuit by hooking this little capacitor in parallel. But I was really surprised to see the effect. It's, uh, I'm losing the, uh, the setting now. I was really surprised to see the magnitude of the effect, uh, especially since this coil is not actually even connected uh, in the circuit. Okay, that's it. Thanks.